Uh, hi everyone, anyone out there? Um, weird one. Um, I didn't. I've just woken up. I've I've been signed off work for a few days because of this eye. Not not as a punishment, right? They're going to pay me. Well, not get full pay, but obviously they just because it's retail and it's. What is that little light? That must. Be, it is the light. Oh, I it's the fucking TV, man. Jesus. Yeah, anyway, I was rambling on there, so I'm off work at the minute, and it's good, obviously, if I'm not sure if I work, Yeah, I've just, I've just got this fucking anxiety, man. I hate that when you wake up. Sometimes, it used to be so bad, it was crippling. Just couldn't, I just couldn't take it, man. But, um, it's not as bad, but it's still there. Uh, I just tend to go to the negative, whether I like it or not, man. It's like your mind just goes where it goes, doesn't it? And I started having like a weird, uncomfortable dream. Not a, te- a weird fucking dream a few weeks ago. I didn't even really go into it in detail, but it's not really worth it now. It's months ago. But I still haven't heard a word from Julia, man. Not a word. She's obviously lost her phone. I think that's probably as serious as it is. And knowing her the way I do, she does not know my number. I don't know her number. Do you know what I mean, I always do it by name. She... I don't know. I, I I just don't like the thought of never never hearing from her again. But I will get over it. Right? I mean, I hope she's, I'm pretty sure she's all right wherever she is. But we we reach other every day. Like right? I mean, and and there's my nephew as well, who I've been sort of not neglecting, but because I've been sort of seeing, I was seeing her. And now that I've got the chance to spend time with him, I should do that. Not because I I should, but because I want it. I love that little kid, man. He's but. It breaks my heart a little bit, that boy, man. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's just... It's why I know I can never have kids. Because it hurts too much just to see him unhappy, man. Like, in any way. Like, even if he's got a sad look on his face, I'm like, what's wrong? Like, nothing. But there's something going on in there. And, and it also makes me miss my little, like my own childhood innocence, man. When I look at that kid, I think, fuck, and now we're all just that beautiful and innocent and sweet. Before, well, I never hurt anyone really. I just fucked myself up. You know what I mean, I just started taking drugs and drinking and getting obsessed with women from a young age just because it's like, fucking hell, what else is there, man? Nothing. And he's not like that. Uh, I don't want him to end up. He's he's inherited a bit of the laziness that seems to run in the male side of my family. All a little bit lazy, but to be honest, I'm quite scared for his future. Because um, I don't like the way the world is. I don't like the way the world's going. Um, in any way at all. So I don't know what he's going to end up being. But um, I don't know why I can't get these bad thoughts out of my head. Because they're not doing me any fucking good. But once it's in there. I don't know if anyone can relate. It's not just addiction. This is just everyone. Like mental or stress. Whatever you want to call it. Once it's in your stomach, that feeling of anxiety is a motherfucker to get rid of, man. And that's why I don't think I can ever stop using, um, because it's the only thing that makes it go away and numb it. And I guess I'm just not strong enough to fucking fight for it the way other people do. I don't know. They, they rely on something else. They pray to God who I don't fucking believe in, or they rely on other people. I don't really got any other people, do you know what I mean? Except my mum and my nephew. And my mum is old and not too well. And if he's a little boy, I can't put it on him. That's why I'm searching far and wide for fucking women. Not just to fucking have sex with, man. There's shit I want to talk about, mate. You know what I mean? I mean, me and Julia had something deep together, but I don't think I ever had a night with her. When she was when she was just doing the sniff, she was fucking cool and she could speak the truth. When she was drinking, she was always in a mess. But I don't think I ever had a proper conversation with her, proper sober, both of us. But we did share a lot of deep stuff. I know it was meaningful. And she does too. But um, I'm just lonely for the first time, man. This is pretty fucking... I've always never... Well, the thing is, I, I do give a shit, but not that much. You know what I mean, like, say, all that's happened to me is the, the little shit I did give was gone and now I really don't give a fuck what anyone thinks I never really did anyway but I would be too embarrassed to admit I'm lonely when I was younger well I wasn't to be fair it didn't really hit me till my late 30s honestly I was fucking fine um, I had my wild youth and it was awesome uh, and then in my 20s 
I pretty much become a stay home drinker by choice because I'd rather just sit over a couple of beers, watch my favourite movie, watch a bit of telly. I've got banging into TV and fucking The Sopranos and shit and foreign language cinema, and I was just loving, loving it, man. And then we got horny, I'd either go out, get lucky, and if that failed, the old escorts, mate. Fucking no worries. Um, no stress really in my life at all. But then, when I hit my late 30s, it's like, well, now I'm a little bit bored of this rock and roll shit, but the only other alternative is normality, which sucks. And that brings us to the present, pretty much, folks. Um, yeah, I just want to get that out.